All right, so we got to go back to the church and stick the thing in the hole. Welcome back, by the way. <laughs> What's all that out there? Oh, wait a minute, is that, like, the other side where that floodgate? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, or what I'm doing. I'm just going along a linear path. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me, okay. So he killed El Gigante, and back to the church like I said before and yeah normally if you take the shortcut back you get um, here and these dogs are just up here to ambush you see but I knew they were here shit let's see if I can pull this off there we go. Doggy doggy. No, no, doggy. You're good. Good dog. Oh, I can see your spine. Okay. And. Reload this. Re equip that. Alright, so we're running a little low on ammo for the shotgun. But that's okay. We'll get some more. We'll get some more pretty soon. One open, there's a round hole. Oh. oh, man. And the first thing he tried to put in... Never mind, I'm sorry. That's gross, okay. We are now in the awesome church. This insignia is everywhere. I wonder if it's a religion from this region. It's very... Very good observation there, Leon. Thank you. Ooh, flash grenade. I'll fucking take that. Always, always room for flash grenades in my inventory. Now let's see if I can remember how to do this puzzle. Because <clears throat> I'm not sure if I remember. I know you run around here and the bars are in your way. And you gotta swing on the chandelier like a swashbuckler. Yeah. If you fuck up the timing, you just gotta do it all over again. <clears throat> you wanna get to say anything about this? No. Mm -mm -mm. There's, yeah, there's some barrels up here. I thought there was something up here. Incendiary grenade, okay. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Gotta get my puzzle solving on. Okay. Uh, I want to say it goes like this. Let's try. <laughs> that is way not how it's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, I think the blue one's wrong. Nope. What's up, guys? Okay, here's the deal. My video skipped like a motherfucker. As you can see, the screen pixelates here for a second, then it catches up. The audio desynced and does not catch back up because uh, I have no fucking clue why. I've been having a lot of trouble lately. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some fucking maintenance on my computer and on my software and stuff to try and figure out what the fuck the problem is. Um, so yeah, you're going to get to hear my lovely voice uh, now doing post-commentary, which I absolutely fucking lutely hate doing. But uh, I'm going to have to do it anyway because, yeah. Otherwise, right now you would be hearing... Shit that hasn't happened yet, basically. And you're going to hear me clicking through the menus. You're going to hear conversations that don't make any sense because they haven't fucking come up in the video yet. Uh, yeah. So I solved the light puzzle after three attempts of me screwing around with it. I finally got it to pop up right. Uh, so we come in here, we find Ashley, we tell her we're here to save her. Uh, and that her father sent us, and now we call Hunnigan because... 
I don't know why. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extracting my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. On my way. Yeah, well, I'm. <laughs> I hate doing post commentary. Oh, I skip right through those. I don't give a shit about the play instructions. Uh, yeah. So this is me busting barrels. Nothing in that one. What we got? Come on, give me something good. Handgun ammo. Green herb. Woo! What else we got? We got more handgun ammo. Always welcome. Another green herb. Awesome. And that rules. Always need more healing items. Always, always. Uh, yeah, no, we get to go through the whole uh, fun process of waiting for Ashley at the top of every ladder because we got to catch her, and of course I went the wrong way. Good job, Grim. You know how to play this game. You know where you're going. Nobody, I, just, just, you know, caution, don't use this as a walkthrough because I fuck up a lot. <laughs> I fucked a lot of things up. Um, I die some stupid deaths. Uh, because I'm recording this, um, I'm editing way after I've recorded this video. Uh, so yeah. Oh, here we go. I should have turned subtitles on, I'm stupid. Um, maybe, maybe I'll go back and replay some stuff and get subtitles turned on so if this happens again you can at least follow what he's saying. Basically he's saying that, uh, you know, I'm the bad guy and I've got crazy eyes and a sweet purple hood and uh, this is my house do you like it no, seriously he's saying that uh, he's injected us he's basically he's infected us so eventually we'll become his puppets anyway uh, so we can run if we want to he's planning on giving Ashley back to her father infected because then he can control her and possibly infect the president of the United States and then spread it like that and she's remembering that they stuck her with uh, Hep B um, that's not funny. Hippie's nothing to laugh about. We'll just call it AIDS. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's bad taste. I'm sorry. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, huh? He said something really funny there. Leon didn't think so, though. But uh, he's saying that uh, he's going to uh, ransom her back because he needs money to keep this operation going. His crazy tentacle staff and his awesome... Laser light oh, show. That was the end of chapter two, two. Okay, so I'm at 86%. And he needs to trim his fingernails. Okay, looking all right. Got to get that accurate, that hit ratio. That's right. God damn it. Okay. Oh, this is so bad. I hate doing this. I hate having to talk over the game when I'm not playing because I'm sitting here watching the video and I mean, especially during a cutscene because I have no idea what to say. Uh, because you're supposed to be focusing on the game and what's happening right now and instead you're listening to me prattle on about fucking nonsense because my equipment fucked up. It wasn't me. I didn't touch anything. It just happened. Uh-oh. Crossbows. Let's go, Ashley. Oh, Dodge. America! <laughs> yeah. All right. So we escaped. He's talking about how he's, uh, his hair is going to save the day. And we ended the chapter. All right. So I'm at 86% hit ratio. Killed 29 enemies. Haven't died yet. I'm at 82 total hit ratio. That kind of blows. I'm... I was a little upset with myself about that. That kind of, kind of sucks. There we go. All right. You know, we came from there. So yeah, I skipped the plane. Oh, we get some money. It's always good. It's an escort mission. I have to upgrade my stuff eventually. Red herb. That I in handgun ammo. She will stay behind you. Once we got shotgun shells. Awesome. Her, she All right. So what am I doing here? Oh, I'm uh, inventory really management. Time to play Tetris. All right. I'm really anal about this for some reason. I don't know why. It always like if I go in there and it's disorganized, it pisses me off. Which is funny because one of my roommates, he's the opposite. He actually can't stand symmetry. So if he goes into my living room and there's like some books on the coffee table, he will intentionally knock one out of whack just so that they're not all straight. But anyway, like how she kind of bloody barrels. This idiot set himself on fire. Uh, he tried to hit me with his torch because he saw what I did to the last guy. Get some more money. Awesome. Time to knife you, bitch. Yeah. Like it. Alright. 
I don't know what the hell I'm going back for. I think I was looking to see if I missed anything. More ammo. Welcome. More money. More ammo. Ooh, rifle ammo. Rare, you say. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm recording this post commentary very late at night because I just now caught that this happened. So. Oh yeah, shotgun shells. I will be using all of those, all of those, very quickly in the near future. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Run in and it's raining. I shoot the bird's nest again. Will, however. God, the game is just throwing shotgun shells at me. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Come back, mm, back down into the caves. Oh, I will. I will. By come back, I mean you will pop up in my. Okay. Why am I just standing there? It's too bright down here. I don't like it. Oh my God! Come on, Grim. Okay. Nobody wants to see you move shit around in your attaché case. Come on. What's up, merch? Welcome. So basically, we got to head back. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. The farm again. And I'm gonna sell something. Nope. From there. I'm gonna sell shit. Oh, the Red Nine. Yeah, it's the Mauser pistol. It's funny because that is the most powerful of uh, the handguns you can get in the game, but it is my least favorite, and I never use it. Because um, I'm not big on the whole power. I like versatility, and the black tail is my favorite. Right, I mean, if the Punisher was more powerful, it would be my favorite specifically right. for the piercing capability. Um, but yeah, I always end up using the black tail. Come uh, back anytime. Okay, now I think I shoot this oil lamp again just because. No, no, no. Yep. Just because. Fire. Now this has a fucking miss. It made me look stupid. Some handgun ammo and some slowdown. That's not good. Okay. I'm also playing this during the day. And we're gonna head back up out the church into the village. Only this time it's gonna be nighttime. It's gonna be harder for me to see shit. I keep forgetting early on in this game the uh they throw fucking money at you really early on and then later on it becomes like everything becomes so expensive that you're you're selling shit and weighing whether or not you should sell a gun and if it'll be enough to get another one you know so okay so we're back in the village nighttime not sure how these torches are still burning in a rainstorm but spend belief yeah and I can hear the villagers coming I got stuck in that torch there I'm not sure what the fuck I was thinking boot there you go I decided to shoot this guy. At least she can climb over the fucking fence by herself. Okay. Right, and I'm looking around. Looking around. I don't see anybody. And I, disarm with a knife. And I decided the best course of action was to just stand in here Ooh. and point my weapon at the door. It's the easiest way to not get anybody coming up behind you. Best and here we go, they're gonna try to beat through the door. There we go. Shot him in the eye. Boot. What? She set herself on fire. That was weird. I shot one dude in the head and the other. Set dude herself on fire again. Eye. Another boot to the head. Uh, he totally had that coming too. He said something nasty to me in Spanish. <clears throat> I forgot that these barrels come back and that there is stuff in them. And this is like the second or third time around. Don't go stepping on anything now. Second time around. Yeah. I don't think you come back here a third time. Unless you backtrack on purpose, but I don't think that that makes a difference. Okay. So, yeah, now... I was lucky I caught that. I almost walked into that, actually. I forgot that they dropped fucking bear traps over here. It's kind of bullshit that they can't step in them. It's another thing I love about the piercing ability. You saw the guy on the left over there threw his weapon, and I shot it, and the bullet went through his weapon and hit him in the face. Oh, oh God. Hello, Parasite. You're gross. Yeah, but I'm just going to take my time killing you. I'm not dumb enough to wander over there. Yeah. You're going to hit me with that. There we go. Bye-bye. Jesus. 
Holy fucking shotgun. How many shotgun shells have I got in the past five minutes? It's crazy. Yeah, I trip all of these. I don't... I'm not even going to fucking deal with Ashley stepping in one of these. Because I know she will. She totally will. Alright. And now... We're back on the farm area. Yeah. Severe consequences. I tell her to get the fuck in there and shut up. Hide. God damn it. Here we go. Let's go through the window Uh oh, found a note. Sarah and the third party. The whereabouts of Sarah is still unknown. Most likely he's using an old secret passage taught to him by his grandfather who used to hunt in this region long ago. I'm pretty certain that he's hiding our property somewhere in the forest. If his grandfather was still alive, I would have him find Sarah. But how did he find out about the egg injected in his body? The fact that he was able to remove it before it hatched is concerning. Another factor that concerns me is that Sarah escaped with our property just before the American agent arrived. I don't believe that that was just a coincidence. There has to be another player involved in this. Ooh, the plot thickens. In order to settle this whole situation, we have to capture Sarah and wait for the effects of the drug to wear off before we inject him with another egg. Once this is all done, whoever's behind all of this will surface. Nobody shall interfere with our plans, and those who do shall face severe consequences. Sorry, I can't do the village chief's voice. Try as I might. <laughs> I also don't, my beard is also you not as awesome as his. It would take me quite some time to get a beard that epic. Alright. Uh, and only through the window. Traps everywhere. Oh god, my back. <laughs> yeah, this is how I handle this situation every time. I just keep kicking down the ladder and let them all gather down there like ants. And then I throw fire at them. <laughs> All There's place. another one coming through the window. There's another, another yeah, one coming through the window. Okay, guys. Everybody pick up the ladder at once. Okay. Floosh. <laughs> I'm not letting you come up here. You guys might as well give up. They just don't get it. Gotta admire their focus. Single-minded as it is. Now we got two parasites. Uh, I think I end up tossing a flash grenade down there just because I don't feel like fucking dealing with it. Okay. This is how I always. No, I guess not. I guess I just go ahead and take him over the pistol. I would have thrown a flash grenade. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. He's just wasting handgun bullets. Whatever. I'm backseat driving because I'm not actually playing. Oh, I thought I heard something. <laughs> No, and I missed a bunch. That's embarrassing. Wow, I'm playing like shit, man. Fuck. Okay, I gotta make sure traps are sprung so Ashley doesn't come step in them. God damn it! I always liked it, Resident Evil 4, how uh, when you came back through an area the second time, it was like, oh man, you took all our shit. Better put more in here. I think I mentioned that in another video too, but it still makes me laugh that they stuff their money back in the barrels and ammo back in the fucking cupboards and the cows come back to life, which I don't think, I don't think I kill any cows. Yeah, there's no reason to kill the cows. And we got some more handgun ammo. This replaces all those fucking shots that I just missed completely like a jackass. Oh uh, yeah, and you, you stumble. Okay. And your head blows off. And you fall. <laughs> Land on your goddamn face, lady. Alright, and we got this guy. Get out of here. It's my ladder. You can't have it. Oh god, that had to hurt. Big fucking ladder <laughs> land on your face. Oh, come on. God damn it. I took a risk there. Half the time, more than half the time, actually, you run up to them to, um, excuse me, melee them. When the parasite's out, they hit you before you get the chance. Come on. I had to get closer because I keep fucking missing. There we go. That's another thing I liked about Resident Evil 6 was that it lets you, uh, the skills that, like, made your melee do more damage for people that like to use melee and stuff like that. I like the melee system in 6. I know uh, a lot of people hate Resident Evil 6, just fucking hate it. 
A lot of people also hate five too. Come to think of it, but uh, I don't know. I enjoy all of them. There's certainly the new ones. Uh, certainly are flawed. There certainly are things that I would have done differently, but I still enjoy playing them. I still buy them. I still have fun. If you haven't seen my Resident Evil 6 co-op video with Seagirl, that's a fucking blast. I just had a lot of fun playing through that with her. Great co-op game. All right, here comes Ashley. I whistled at her, and she stuck her head up like a fucking groundhog. Always like that. And, yeah, I think that's it.